Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Boxed Inc., Che Huang. How are you doing today, Che? I'm doing well, and I'm excited to be here, Rich. I'm very excited to have you on the show. And just so you know, the symbol for Boxed Inc. is B-O-X-D on the New York Stock Exchange. And Che, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself right off the bat? Yeah, so I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of a company uh, called Box, B-O-X-D, uh, on the New York Stock Exchange. The company was founded about nine years ago. Uh, and today, if you fast forward to uh, what we do as a company today, uh, there's two business, two business lines that we basically operate. One is the online wholesale, uh, where we separate or we separate ourselves from the pack by shipping a lot to your home and shipping in bulk to your home uh, or to offices all around the country. Um, and on the other hand, all that technology that's used to power that business is now extracted and licensed to folks all around the world, uh, including uh, one of the largest retailers in Asia who uh, uh, uses our software at the moment. That sounds great. Now, I know you guys just reported your earnings today on November 9th, but before we get into them, can you tell us a little bit about what are the three biggest milestones Boxtink hit in 2022? Oh, gosh, that's a really good question. So um, I think um, coming off this press uh, um, or this uh, earnings release, I think one of the biggest milestones is really showing that our software works even for us when it comes to increased profits. So um, remember, a lot of that software is being developed using kind of our data models and machine learning to be able to increase profits. And so, of course, you can buy the end-to-end -end software suite from us, or you could take individual modules. This past quarter, it was the first full quarter where basically almost everything we sold was running through those machine learning uh, pricing modules. Our gross profit uh, uh, for the quarter uh, was up, uh, in a retail business was up 88.8%. So that's a big milestone uh, for any company, especially in this uh, environment. Uh, I think the second um, is signing uh, an expansion of our agreement with Eon, A-E-O-N. They're the second largest retailer in Asia biggest retailer in Japan. So we expanded that partnership to um, uh, to Vietnam. Great. And then the third uh, milestone, um, I would say, is the morale of the company. I think given the fluctuation in our stock price, you would think there would be a mass exodus. But for us, I think we really have the group that's here to stay. Um, and there's actually been very little turnover, uh, a voluntary turnover at the company uh, over the last year. So I would say those are the three most salient things in my mind. Fantastic. Now, with retail gross profit, which you just mentioned, increasing year to year by 88.8% and retail gross margin increased year to year by 503 basis points. Can you go through this for the viewers and give them a comparison to other companies in the industry? Yeah, uh, I think plus 88.8% .8 of anything uh, is, awesome. uh, is probably a pretty good uh, uh, comp. Um, you know, in general, I think um, what we're really proud of is that in this difficult environment, um, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of producing results. Uh, so last quarter, we told everyone, hey, we know the environment's changing. We've got these three really bright, higher gross margin businesses, and we're going to deploy resources against them. Uh, and we did that in 90 short days. Uh, I think we're beginning to see uh, some of the fruits of that effort. So, you know, back to your question of, well, how does that compare to everyone else out there? Um, I, I think we just feel awfully um, you know, good that in this environment, you know, we basically um, uh, beat on, on consensus on the top line uh, and we're pretty much in line on the bottom line when it comes to consensus. And, you know, in this environment, I, I think we'll take it, you know, given kind of all the other results that, that have been posted out there. That sounds great. Congratulations on all your success. Now, gross merchandise value increased year to year by 8.3% to 49 million. Please go through this for our viewers and what it means for the company. It means uh, quite a bit. So, you know, I guess um, uh, for the most part, it seems easy to potentially kind of increase profits uh, uh, if you're just going to shrink the business. Um, but for us, having kind of growth on, on the GMV side of the house when it comes to our retail business, uh, while being able to really kind of boost profits by 88.8%, um, I think it shows that we can not only grow the bottom, but also the top as well. Um, so, you know, usually you get one, one or the other, but um, we were showing that this past quarter uh, we could do both. 
That's great. Now, retail net revenue also increased year by year by 8.9% to 41.6 million. Please break this down for us and the impact on the company. Yeah, so overall, I think continuing to grow um, uh, is really important for us. I think there's still a lot of scale yet to be done uh, here at Box, And so overall, the more we scale, the better rates we get for packaging, for shipping, for product costs. So all of that is really important for us. So as we continue to grow, uh, um, uh, we'll be able to have bigger negotiating power with a lot of these input costs. And so um, we were already able to strike a really great partnership with FedEx. This past quarter was the first full quarter where those uh, new rates came into effect. And you could see what when we have the scale and when we can go all in with one of these um, uh, uh, vendors um, and these partners, uh, we can actually get pretty good pricing. And so that full quarter of, of better pricing uh, was reflected in some of that gross profit increase this past quarter. Fantastic. Now, some great things to report this earnings call. If there was one thing you would want viewers watching to take away from the interview that we're having today, what would that be? I think it's there's a lot more uh, that meets the eye. I, I really think, um, uh, you know, even in this environment, I know I've said it a few times now, uh, this team has been able to execute. Um, you know, I don't think our uh, stock price or the stock market has been kind to us. Uh, but when you parse through it and you just look at kind of the results we posted up 90 days after we announced kind of our strategic focus, Hopefully folks out there will have the confidence that this management team uh, is the right one to navigate through these choppy waters. And so um, uh, I invite everyone to learn more about it, uh, especially our software business and how that could potentially accelerate our growth and our path to profitability in the future. Um, but it's just, I'm just feel awfully lucky to speak with folks like you to get the word out uh, about what I think is a, a great company. Jay, last question. What is the best way for anyone who is interested to get in touch with the company to get in contact with you? Um, so uh, there's a lot of different ways. Um, uh, probably just uh, uh, via our 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 IR team, uh, you know, and they generally share everything with me. Uh, and so if you have specific questions, uh, anyone out there, I, I think you'll get a, a pretty speedy response. So if you go to our uh, website, there's an IR function or IR kind of subsite. Uh, if you go to it, um, you know, we still value every single investor that's invested in the company. Uh, and you should hear a, a fast response uh, if you reach out to us. Fantastic. Super excited to see how you guys continue to grow. I'm speaking today with the CEO of Boxed Inc. Symbol for your attention is BOXD on the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you for joining us today. Che Huang, CEO of Boxed Inc. Thank you for joining us today, Che. Thanks for having me, Rich. And thanks, everyone. Always a pleasure. Before everyone says goodbye or before I say goodbye to everyone, I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. In saying that, we believe this is a company you need to put on your radar and put on your watch list. We feel that it is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. And remember, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a nice day.